Yeah, so we're gonna ditch the old girl, and the first thing we do in a survival horror game is run off into the big spooky scary forest, of course. Of course we do. You know what, there, there is a bright side though, at least, at least we get to admire the lush greenery of the beautiful forests of Silent Hill. Ah, so nice to be one with nature, isn't it, James? It's so wonderful, it's so peaceful, it's so quiet, so docile. So atmospheric. Okay, let's get the fuck out of the forest, James. I don't know if you heard what I just heard, but, uh... Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't like the snarling. Definitely not. Not a good sign. Good thing James has been working on his cardio so he can run for 10 miles an hour, thank Christ. Yeah, it's gaining on us, James. Maybe you want to pick up the pace a little bit. Fucking Twinkle Toes taking a sweet time. 10 miles is never going to be quick enough. We have to Hussein Bolt head over to the fucking gate. So I will add that I've not played this in quite a long fucking time, so uh, if I happen to get a little bit lost, I apologize beforehand. But please just expect it to happen. If I end up getting super lost, or uh, I end up getting stuck on a puzzle, I promise I will clip out whatever I can manage. Just to make it easier on you lot, because I'm just that nice. You know what else is nice? Meeting new friends. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I... that's a perfectly I... normal oh, reaction okay. when you see another human being. You. I'm kind of lost. Lost? I love that. She looks at him like he's a fucking alien or some shit. Although he does look like one, doesn't he? A little bit. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. I think you'd better mind your own fucking business, says James. This Something wrong with you, clearly. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying! No, I believe you. It's just... Yeah, everybody named Angela is a fucking psychopath, aren't they? If you've seen Sleepaway Camp, you'll know what I mean, and if you haven't seen Sleepaway Camp, I'm incredibly sorry for you. And if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend you watch it, because the ending is one of the most weird, twisted things you'll ever see in your life. And I don't want to spoil it, so go and watch it yourself. Yeah, nice save there. Real subtle. Fucking psychopath. What was that last little part? Oh, uh, I asked you what way did you say Silent Hill was again? I'm sorry. It's not your problem. I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Yeah, so that's Angela. She has. Let's just call them daddy issues. She'll be fine on her own. She's okay. She can handle herself. She's a grown woman. At least I think so. And if she's not a woman, she's probably a hell spawn or something. Taking the form of a lady, she'll be okay. God damn, that's really fucking creepy. Do you hear those footsteps? Maybe it's Angela coming over to try and figure out what kind of hair conditioner James uses. So maybe we might want to get a step on the go, a little bit. What does this sign say? Silent Hill Ranch. Cool, James can ride a pony. First thing he wants to do when he gets to Silent Hill. First thing anybody wants to do when they get to Silent Hill is ride a pony. More fucking footsteps. 
You better be Santa Claus with a big sack full of health drinks and med kits if you're gonna keep following me. I'm not having that bullshit. Definitely fucking not. Santa? Jolly old dickhead. Or handgun bullets. Handgun bullets works too. Shotgun shells? No, that's pushing it. That is pushing it a little bit. Might want to slow our roll there, James. We're getting a little bit too greedy now. We're getting a little bit too far in. Well, James clearly forgot his reading glasses at home because that sign definitely says keep the fuck out. James doesn't know how to read those, so we press right on in. James and his disregard for other people's property, just like every other or protagonist ever. Why does he run like he has something stuck up his ass? He's running now like I used to run track in middle school? Fucking weird. That's right, whatever's comfortable for you, James. You're the protagonist, not me. Just remember that if you have one running animation, you're gonna have to do that same running animation throughout the entire game. So now that you've found yours, you better stick with it and not switch it up on me. The Roadrunner. Well, it's clearly copyrighted by Warner Brothers. I'm sure you'll be hearing a lawsuit from their offices and their lawyers. Especially since you remastered it in high definition, by the way. You're welcome. Once again, don't say I never do anything nice for you. It's about as crisp as it can get. Once again, James doesn't read the signs at all. Are these marks blood? Pretty woman. Walking down the street, pretty woman. The kind James would preferably like to stay the fuck away from, if at all possible. But now we have to, of course, run toward the spooky figure in the fog, because why wouldn't we have to? Isn't there a health drink or some shit around here? I swear to fucking god there's a health drink somewhere around here. Hmm. If there's one thing there's an abundance of in Silent Hill, it's health drinks. Especially in the beginning of the game, because they like to lure you into a false sense of security. They're like, oh yeah, he has 12 health drinks, he thinks he's in the clear. And then you get all the horrible monstrosities. That spray acid and all the things that scuttle along the ground and the nurses with the pipes and shit later. Uh. Get all that fun stuff. And the pyramid heads and all that shit. So, mind you, I have played this before, so it's not at all blind, it's just I've not played it in a god-awful long time. Very, very long time. So I'm probably gonna get a little bit lost here and there, but I'll try and do the best I possibly can for you lot, I promise. Although, don't have high expectations of me, because anybody who's been on my channel for a while, you know better at this point. And for anybody who's new, don't get your hopes up. Uh, James? Maybe take the radio and go, prick? Yeah, are you fucking blind? Although he did forget his reading glasses at home, so maybe he is. Alright, so, uh, what's the button for beating the shit out of stuff again? Hold R2? Action button? Classic PS2 stuff? I'm assuming it's the same controls as the PS2 version. Yes, it is. Neat. Well, go to town, James. Is it dead? <sighs> the hell is it? What? Human. You've never beat someone down with a blunt object in a shitty alleyway before? 
Just casual everyday shit for James. Dead. Could it have been that creature? What's going on in this town? Uh, homicide, clearly. James? Seeing as how you're a prime suspect, seeing as how I just watched you do it, so we already have one witness. We also have whoever else watches this video. So now you are legally obligated. If the police come knocking on your door, you have to give them the info provided. And if you don't, you're going to Silent Hill Prison, where you'll get bent over by all sorts of manner of evil beasts. I better take it anyway. And James didn't visit the condom machine in the rest stop, so none of you are going to have it easy. Definitely not. I doubt they have any Silent Hill Prison lubricant. Brand name, by the way. I like how James runs with a purpose. Oh yeah, that's the fucking run you want to take when you plan to beat shit over the head with a wooden plank. Absolutely. Dude, if you saw this man running up out of the fog with a wooden plank with nails in it, you'd be fucking terrified. He runs with deliverance. So the first thing on our survival horror to-do list is to adhere to the three P's of survival horror gaming. We are going to pluck, pillage, and pick clean every single health drink and med kit we can get our filthy little mitts on. And hopefully some handgun bullets if we're lucky enough, but that might be pushing it a little bit. We are also hopefully going to stay at least 10 feet away from the fucking weird scary fucks at all times. Although there are going to be times where we're going to have to get up close and personal. As much as I hate to admit it, it's going to happen. There's going to be nurses that are going to get beat over the head, which sounds a little bit ironic when you think about it, seeing as how they're nurses and they provide medical attention to people who need it. And there are going to be evil bosses that we're going to have to beat the shit out of with a couple pipes or a couple planks here and there. Hello? Alleyway? Treats? Good stuff? Please be good stuff. Oh yeah, there's a key on this chappy, isn't there? Yeah, I got the apartment cake key. Yeah, that's what I need. Jesus! Fucking hell! Alright, bro, you stay over there. I'm gonna run this way. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck, I forgot that dude was there. I forget every fucking time. Every time I tell myself, and every time I fucking fall for it because I'm a dipshit and I don't remember. That's classic bait and shit, that is. Classic fucking survival horror, gotta love it. Again, they lure- what did I say earlier? They lure you into a false sense of security with all sorts of health kits and health drinks and med kits and bullets and... You know, do-overs and extra lives and shit, and then they do that crap. Well, you don't get extra lives in survival horror games. That's why it's called survival horror. It's not you die and, oh, you get an extra life and you get to keep going at it. It's, oh, you have limited save points. Oh, you have only three ink ribbons to heal with. Even though you don't heal with the ink ribbons, but whatever you save with the ink ribbons. But the point still stands. Survival horrors are about survival of the fittest. And James is definitely one of the fittest. As we're about to find out, you fucking piece of shit. Don't test me, evil creatures. James is armed with a wooden plank and is debating whether or not he's morally justified to use it. Spoiler alert, he is definitely morally justified. Health kit? Health kit! Yeah. I thought you looked white and rectangular. I got a first aid kit. Okay, well it's not a health kit, it's a first aid kit. Handgun bullets. Brilliant. I knew my cheekery would come in handy eventually, Jesus fucking Christ. God, those little shits are fast as hell, aren't they? Nah, Roach. Stay the fuck away. I think those things hurt you, if I remember right. You might think they're just part of the game. Part of the atmosphere. No, they're evil. They're fucking evil. It's Silent Hill. Everything is fucking evil. Yeah, preferably quickly, James. Seeing as how the cockroach is closing in on us at light fucking speed. There we go. Alright, safety and security. What are we doing then? Dumpster? No health drinks? Are you sure about that? Although who would throw away a perfectly good health drink? Gotta think about it, right?
locked. Fuck. Alright, that's fine. At least I have the big iron fence to keep out all the nasties. Although I'm pretty sure the cockroach could fit through the fence if it had the mind to, but we're not going to think about that. We're going to find safety and security inside the apartment complex. Nice, I got a health drink. Woodside apartment, first floor map. I got a map of the apartment. Bildg. Okay. Never heard the word bildg before, but I'm pretty sure it's short for building. What's this? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. Gives me a weird feeling. 